Hello everyone, it's Miss Lisa coming to you with a special lesson about faith. With me today, I have a big helper. This is Daniel. I want to start off and ask a question. What is faith? Daniel, do you have an idea of what faith is? What do you think faith is? I think faith is um, a power that God gives you. Okay, well, think about that. What, what does faith mean? Is faith about who we are and how well we believe in something? Or is it about the thing that we believe in? When you go to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says that faith is a substance of things hoped for. So it's what we hope for and the evidence of the things that we don't see. So, simply, it just means it has to do with believing in something that we don't necessarily have to face or, or see or touch. So there was a time when Jesus was with his disciples and they looked at him and said, Jesus, can you help us get our faith to be stronger? But of course, Jesus looked at him and said, it doesn't work that way. Faith isn't like a muscle where you can lift weights and it gets bigger or you can, a body that you, when you exercise and it feels stronger and you have more energy, that's not what faith is. So, faith isn't about us. It's about what we're putting our faith in. So, here in front of me, I have some special things. I have a bag, which represents faith. I have a glass of plain water, and I have a container here with some special liquid. So, let's say, Daniel, I have faith that I'm going to put I'm going to take a dollar bill and I'm going to put it in the ground. And when I put it in the ground, a tree of money is going to grow. What do you think about that? Hmm. So, right here, this says money tree. So, Daniel, that's what we're going to put our faith in. Okay? So, I'm going to let you just pour some faith right there in that money tree. That When you plant that dollar bill, it's going to grow into a money tree. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pour just a little bit. There we go. That's good. Daniel, did anything happen? It just kind of made the water cloudy a little bit, and everything kind of gathered at the end of the, at, at the bottom of the glass. So, hmm, did anything, nothing really happen, did it, when we put our faith in that? Hmm. Now, let's say we decide to put our faith in something worthwhile that's actually that actually has the power to do something. Let's say we have faith in God. This is God right here. This represents God. Now, let's pour our faith into God's Word and God Himself and see what happens. What happened? Did something happen? Think about the money tree. Did we see any fizzing with the money tree? No. But when you poured that faith into God, something happened, didn't it? So now, that's what Jesus was trying to explain to his disciples. When he said in Luke 17, 6, that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed. Daniel, this is a mustard seed. Is it very big? No, it's not big at all. If we have that much faith, and a, a, a faith as small as a mustard seed, we can tell the mulberry tree to be uprooted and plant in the sea, and guess what it's going to do? It's going to obey you. So now, that's all the faith that we have to have. You really probably can't see it on the camera, but they're really teeny, 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 tiny seeds. So, over here, I'm going to write the word faith. There's faith. Now, Daniel, beside faith, I want you to draw a mustard seed. Can you draw a mustard seed for me? Mm -hmm. So see how tiny the mustard seed is? That's how big our faith has to be in God. And awesome things are going to happen. A few weeks ago, we celebrated Easter. And we know that Easter was a time when God sent his son to die on the cross to cover our sins 
and be the connection between us and his Father. Because remember, it also tells us in the Bible that no one can come unto the Father except through him. So, God sent his Son so we could have that closer connection. Now, we may not see God, and we don't see God, but... Just because we don't see him and just because we doesn't we, he, we, we can't reach out and touch him doesn't mean that we can't think about all that he's done for us and that he's doing for us. And we don't need to keep that to ourselves. Daniel, what do we need to do? Do we need to just keep Jesus and God to ourselves or do we need to go and share it with others? I'd say share it with others. I think so too. I think that's a great idea because you know what? If you share God's word with others then they're going to start following Jesus too. And it's going to create a reaction just like when we poured our faith in God and we saw the fizzing in the special liquid. How awesome is that? So now we're going to sing a song. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with it, Daniel, but it's a song that I've known for a long time. And it's real easy. It says, my God is so big. So strong. So how are we going to show that we're strong? We're going to put our muscles up like this, right? So can you put your muscles up there for me? All right. So my God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. And then we're going to clap, clap. Okay, so let's do that again. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Clap, clap. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Now, how do we do mountains? Are mountains low or are mountains high? They're high. So the mountains are his. And we're going to move like rivers because rivers move. The rivers are his. The stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. So it goes like this. Are you ready? Okay. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his. The rivers are his. The stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. I hope you were singing along with us. It was a real easy song. So I tell you what, let's do it one more time. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. So remember that. If you get down and out and your faith gets a little weak, just remember, there's nothing that God cannot do. So you're going to pour your faith into God, and awesome things are going to happen. So to help you remember that, we're going to do just a real easy craft. So Daniel, you want to come and help me? We're going to move all of this out of the way here. I'm going to come over here and put it right there, get it out of our way. So what you're going to do? is you are going to get a piece of construction paper, or it could be any kind of paper. It doesn't matter. Whatever kind of paper you have at home. Okay? You can have crayons, or you can have a marker, or a pen, whatever you have at home. That's how easy this craft is. So now, to help us remember, we're going to make a faith banner. That's what we're going to make, a faith banner. So to make a faith banner, it kind of has a straight top and straight sides 
but then it kind of goes at an angle and kind of like a triangle. It's not, I'm not a very good artist, but it's okay. I should let Daniel draw it because he's an awesome artist. So you're going to draw this. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut it out. So if you want to cut that out for me, Daniel, he's a really good assistant over here. So you're going to cut it out. And once you get it cut it out, cut out, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with it. And like I said, I'm not the greatest artist, so it might look a little funny. So don't laugh at me too much. All right, see, I told you, it looks a little funny, but it's okay. It'll work for today. Because I'm sure y'all will probably do a much better job than I will. So here's my banner. Okay, on my banner, I'm going to write the letters F, A, I, T, H. What does that spell? Faith. All right, so I spell the word faith going down. I know normally we write it going this way, but I have a special reason for writing it this way. So beside F, I am going to write fantastic. Fantastic. Okay? Fantastic. Beside A, I'm going to write adventure. So we're, Faith is a fantastic adventure. So Daniel, I'm going to pass the crayon to you. And beside I, I need you to just write the letter N. Okay? Then the next one, you're going to write the rest of the word trusting. So T R U S T I N G, trusting. And then the last one, you're going to finish writing the word him. So when you think about faith, think of it as a fantastic adventure in trusting him. And then what you can do is after you write this, you are going to draw anything. You can use crayons, markers, and you're going to decorate your banner. This is your faith banner. And then you can hang it anywhere that you would like to hang it. And then when your faith gets a little weak or it wavers a little bit, take a look and remember that your God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing he can't do. Pour your faith, your full faith, and trust in God, and he will take you where you need to go. Because God's will is higher than our will. So, our memory verse, and I'm going to show it to you. This was mustard seed faith. So, to have mustard seed faith, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's Hebrews 11.1. 1. So, again, when you get to a point where you're going a little low and you're feeling a little bad, and you, you're just a little sad, just remember that. Just have faith because God's going to bring us through. All right, this is Miss Lisa and Daniel saying, see you next time.